Welcome everyone to the Legendary Faith Podcast. My name is Alyssa Massey and I am so thankful that you are with me in this moment and that you're going to get a piece of God's Word today. And so this is episode 63, Stop Listening to the Wrong Voices. And here's your little reminder for today and for the rest of your life. I want you to get it down in your soul that you are enough, that you are right where you're supposed to be. And if you're feeling stuck, if you feel like you're in the downhill of life and you don't see any hope in climbing higher, well, here's your sign. Welcome to the club. Because so many times when we're trying to live right, when we're trying to do the right thing, we constantly have our flesh or aka the devil working against us. So we need to have faith, friends. We need to press on. And so I want to remind you today that you are worthy, but you need to stop listening to the wrong voices. And I know it's so hard. I'm with you in that. But if you are trying to live a better life, and if you are living for Jesus, we can expect opposition You know, Paul said it in the Bible, we will have persecutions, but rejoice in these persecutions. For we know that they are giving us faith. And ultimately, God has a great plan for you and I. It's already mapped out. So our mission right now in this moment is to have some faith, is to find some community. But we have a devil that is constantly working against us, that in whatever we're facing, the hard times, he's trying to get get us thinking that everyone's against us, that we're not making progress. But, oh, friend, you are. If you are striving to do the next right thing, even though it feels like sometimes you're trudging through mud, you are making progress. So don't give up. Now I want to read to you today from 2 Peter 1, 3 through 4. By his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. And because of his glory and excellence, he has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. So friends, we have God's great promises for us, but we also have the flesh. We also have human desires working against us. But the great news is that you don't have to stay stuck. You can escape these human desires. You have hope. For a better future. So let's proceed on to read 1 Peter. I'm sorry, 2 Peter 1, 5 through 7. In view of all this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. Supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence and moral excellence with knowledge and knowledge with self-control 
and self-control with patient endurance, and patient endurance with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. So you see, friends, we also have work to do. We have to put in some effort. As we strive to become better Christians, better individuals, we must put in some effort in order to block out the wrong voices that are constantly trying to invade our thoughts and invade our emotions and our bodies. We have to press in and put in some effort so that we can move past the opposition and move forward and not stay constantly stuck. And this work is not always easy, but it is worth it. I don't want to stay stuck in my depression. I don't want to stay stuck in anxiety. I don't want to stay stuck in the flesh. No, what keeps me going and what keeps urging me on toward the hope that God has called me to is the word of God. And I expect tribulation. I expect to not have perfect days every day because I do know there is constantly an opposition. But I also have the knowledge I have learned this far. Thankfully, I have the knowledge and I have the word of God that reminds me that there is opposition and that I do need to get back up the next day and try again a little better. And this is what keeps us going. This is what keeps us energized. So if you've never felt the need to just to keep pressing on and you feel like you're stuck and you have given up? No. There is more to it than that. You need to start listening to the right voices. And the right voice It's God himself, Jesus Christ. But God also sends people out into the world that you can listen to, that do have some encouragement for you, that do have a word of God, that does preach the good news. The question is, are you listening or are you listening to The worldly news. Are you listening to the negativity? Are you getting caught up in the gossip? Because these voices will tell you that you are on the right path. They'll try to say, hey, everyone else is doing it. They'll give you a temporary high. No, friends, this is the flesh. We don't always have to go down the road that everyone else is taking. No, the right voice will lead you down a narrow path, but you'll have a knowing in your spirit. You'll have a peace to keep going. You'll have a hope that urges you on. And if you have not been listening to the right voices, I urge you to pray and ask God, lead me, God, down the path of understanding. Teach me, Lord. Bring people in my path that can help me along the way to my destiny, to the place that you want me to be, oh Lord. Give me strength. Start listening to the right voices. You have to get quiet. God's voice is a still voice. And so one of our biggest issues in driving toward our destiny, driving toward that great purpose and the peace that we so deserve, one of our 
biggest issues is removing all the noise because constantly there is noise and constantly there are thoughts hitting our brains that are keeping us stuck. So yes, we have to put in the effort to write against the thoughts of the flesh because the thoughts of the flesh are worldly and will lead us down the wrong path. Maybe the majority of the people are going down this path. They're running full force. And sometimes you think you just got to run and try to keep up with everyone else. But hey, that route is often exhausting. And let me tell you, you don't have to keep up with everyone else. What you need to do is to get still and listen to that still quiet voice. God speaks, but we have to get quiet. And I myself, as I preach the word, teach the word, (laughs) spread the good news, I too often have to remind myself to go, get away from it all, hide in the bathroom, whatever it takes, right? I have to make an effort to get some sleep and to get up early in the morning before everyone else and to sit quietly, just pray and feed my spirit because constantly there are so many things trying to drive me away. But no, I have this knowing in my heart because I know God. And so, yes, I have a knowing in my heart that reminds me to get still, to listen to the Good Shepherd. And the Good Shepherd will lead you into great pastures. And as we are God's sheep, we know His voice. So, what if you don't know? What if you don't know how to listen? You need to get to know God. Keep it simple. Don't try to go your own way. Don't try to listen to people that claim they know the truth, but they have nothing to back it up with. Or maybe you're listening to them, but you have no clue if it's correct because you don't know your Bible. You don't know God. But today I'm urging you to keep it simple. Get to know God. Ask God to help you to reveal himself to you because, friends, time is short. And as I did take extra time this morning to get and be still with God because it's been a few days. I mean, I can pray to God all throughout the week, throughout the day. But I have to make a little extra effort to put him first in the morning to spend some quality time reading over the word. And this gives me peace and it energizes me and gives me hope. And as I spent more quiet time today with the Lord, you know, I had a knowing in my spirit to keep sharing, keep spreading the good news. Keep using my voice because God uses my voice to spread the good news as he can use your voice and uses many voices. But we must know and be aware of God and his word. So I'm urging you today, if you don't know God, if you don't know exactly what you're listening to, the people that are guiding you each day, you have no clue if they're telling the truth or that if you're on the right path. No, you should know. You should know that you're on the right path. You have a knowing and you have a peace. And you know that if you're not, you just feel inside that there's something not right. 
And many of us do. Often we feel that, hey, something's not right in my life. But as you listen to this, and if you don't know Christ, Christ is urging you to come to him today. Time is short, friends. And the Bible lets us know of many things happening in the world today. So get clear on the direction of your life today and start listening to the right voices. The voice of God himself. And stop listening to the wrong voices. And friends, you are worthy and you are enough. And don't let anyone try to alter the great plan that God has for you. And this means keep stepping forward. Keep moving. Keep pressing on. And I am praying for you. And I am rooting for you. Thank you. And have a blessed day.